Hello and welcome to this video where we will go over an example of maxillary sinus atelectasis. The patient in question presented to an outside hospital initially with left periorbital cellulitis and was diagnosed as having sinusitis in an operated upon maxillary sinus. In fact, the patient had never had surgery but had maxillary sinus atelectasis with the sidewall of the maxillary sinus sucked in quite far laterally and this was the source of the patient's infection. If you look carefully, you can see that there is indeed bone that is lining the edge of the sinus. We travel into the nose endoscopically with a zero degree endoscope on the patient's left side. And utilizing a pediatric backbiter, we will incise the uncinate level with the bulla ethmoidalis and above the area of significant sinking in of the uncinate process. The patient's uncinate process has a layer of mucosa on either side of a thin layer of bone. And as you will see, we will dissect out that bone from between the two layers of mucosa, and this will help us to open up the patient's left maxillary sinus, which has become sunk in quite far lateral on the patient's left side. What you will see now, while we are sucking with curved suction at the patient's maxillary sinus opening region, you'll see adhesions between the inner surface of the uncinate process and the floor of the orbit. And this likely was helping to maintain the uncinate process being so far lateral and helping to obstruct the patient's maxillary sinus. The majority of the bone from the patient's uncinate process is able to be taken out in one large section. What you're seeing is a curved microdebrider removing the uncinate process as well as a portion of the lateral wall of the maxillary sinus in an effort to widely marsupialize this atelectatic maxillary sinus into the nose to reconnect these areas successfully. With the maxillary sinus opened, though not fully treated at this point, we begin to encounter some significant mucus spilling out of the sinus itself, and therefore we opt to remove this material to send this for culture. It was quite, quite thick and required a fair amount of suctioning to actually remove it to capture this into a Lucan's trap to be sent to the lab for culture purposes.
This is an office video of a patient who is now healed, who also happened to have left maxillary sinus atelectasis. And as you can see, the mucosa appears healthy. The patient is opened up, has a very small maxillary sinus still, but it is not diseased and there is no risk now of the patient's eye sinking. Thank you.